let's look at how to format headers and footers using this template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a template that allows you to have a title area above the form uh, and likewise have a corresponding footer section where you can control the content um, as well as the colors um, and information. It's a way to dress up your form and make it look a little bit nicer. Now the first thing you should do if you're going to use this template is understand a little bit more about how this works. There is a special help section which is linked from the bottom of the notes section for this template and it describes um, how you can configure the layout for a forms template. So be sure to check that out first so you're familiar with how these templates are applied. And as you can see from the preview, this just gives you um, a nice header section that you can uh, configure to look however you want. So this includes the ability to uh, pick from different icons, um, and it's just a way to make things uh, stand out, make, make it look nice for the user. So I can pick that baseball there. I can, of course, change the background colors. Um, I can adjust the font size, all kinds of things like that. And then in the section text, you can actually put whatever it is you want in your title bar. And significantly, you can reference fields. So I'm referencing the title field. And you can do that by referencing the field names in square brackets. Um, so you've got lots of different options for that. You can decide whether you want to center align, left, right, align the text that's at the top. So you can tweak that until you have just exactly the look and feel that you want. And then once you've done that, you simply need to copy template and then go ahead and click OK in the box and go to SharePoint and you need to get to the formatting for this in a special way. So click on the title field in your list which will take you into the view form and then once you're in there there's a drop down in the upper right you need to select and what we want to do is configure the layout. There are three options in this window. Uh, one is for header, footer, and then body. For this template, this would be used either for the header or the footer. You can um, independently apply a template for each of those. We're going to demonstrate doing this for the header. And I simply paste in my code and hit save. It'll close that window out, but once you reopen that form, you're going to see now I've got that custom header showing. Um, so I can, uh, you know, dress that up however I want. And then if I want to tweak that, I can refer, I can return to the page. Maybe I want to make it a little bit smaller, for example. So I just go back to the configure layout and then I can come back over into uh, SharePoint and maybe I want to make something a little bit smaller. So I could do that and then maybe I'm going to make my size a little bit smaller. Let's make our um, font size a little bit smaller and then I can copy and just do exactly the same steps again. So I just replace that and hit save and once again once I return to the form I can see my update. So you can keep tweaking that until it looks um, exactly the way you want and then naturally um, you can do the same thing for the footer. So just for the sake of showing you quickly, we'll go to configure layout and there's a footer section and it works exactly the same way. You can just paste in your code um, and you know there might be just some summary information. You could put the uh, modified date or something like that in there and as you might expect, if I scroll down the form, you can see down at the bottom of the form I have that. Um, so that's where you can display your footer information. This is also related to another template which is used to lay out the body of the form and there's some options such as breaking that into different columns. So that's another template available that you can take a look at. This form header and footer formatting template is available at SharePointDashboards.com and if you have not used this tool before you can sign up for a free account 
and that will get you access to 20 free templates. This particular template is part of the subscription package, which includes more than 100 professional templates that you can use in your SharePoint environment. I hope you found that useful, and I hope you're soon dressing up the footers and headers on your forms, and I wish you good luck.